Recently in Hanoi, there are more malls and shopping centers than last few years. But also there were a lot of problems that happened by these developments. So in this documentary, we will look at how has shopping in Hanoi changed in the past few years. To find the answer, we did some research and we interviewed some people that, li uh, that lives in Hanoi. We interviewed people from the supermarkets and malls to ask about their profits and how they think it has been changed. And also, we asked the same question to the people who is in the old markets. People from the old markets were asked to move into a different place. Instead of staying in selling things at the old traditional markets, they were asked to move to a supermarket and sell stuff there. Although sellers in Hangda said to be relocated to a market behind the street line, they said that they expect to move back to the market when it is finished. However, in the new building will be a shopping center, and as is with most other new markets in Hanoi today, its design is not suitable for local sellers and customers buying fresh products. This market was designed for the upper class. The problem is that usually people that buy things the local markets can keep in touch with the sellers. But it doesn't happen anymore because now they have different people selling every day. Hangda market is now not going to be owned by any, uh, any small business people. They are going to be owned by large companies. The changes from the local markets to supermarkets would also help the traffic because before there are no parking lots in the local markets and things would be really messy. The replacement of traditional markets with shopping malls is increasing the gap between rich and poor even more. Recent research in Vietnam has shown that the well of use the new shopping centers while the poor will go to the fresh markets. This process further, further sharpens segregation and will bring about more competition, stress, and disharmony among citizens. The replacement of traditional markets with shopping malls is destroying social public spaces in the city. Fresh markets are the places where people interact with each other, meet old friends, and make new ones. The replacement of traditional markets with shopping malls is damaging the local econ economy. Fresh markets not only provide customers with cheap fresh food, but also provide jobs for many people in the area, especially the less well-off. Today, food production in Vietnam mostly involves some small-scale production. Of uh, total 390,000 units, 80% are small-scale and household producers. This means the fresh markets in Vietnam are still the main places where fresh food is sold.
nhiều cái gọi là cái mặt chi tích cực nó cũng phát triển nhiều hơn cô có thể nói cho con thêm về mua sắm mua sắm bây giờ thì cô thấy là vài năm đổ lại đây thì cái uh, hình thức mua sắm nó cũng thay đổi nó cũng đa dạng lên rất nhiều ví dụ như trước đây cách đây một vài năm thì cái hình thức mua sắm online nó sẽ ít hơn bây giờ nhưng bây giờ thì cô thấy mua sắm online rất rất, rất nhiều Đi shopping cũng nhiều nữa nhưng mà online mua sắm rất phổ biến nếu mà cô chọn đi lotte hoặc là đi chợ chợ cũng là thì cô chọn nhiều nó sẽ tùy vào cái mục đích cô định đi mua gì giả sử nếu như cô đi mua quần áo hoặc là những cái đồ dùng gia đình thì cô sẽ đi lotte thế nhưng nếu như mà đi mua những giả sử như là đi mua đi chợ đi mua đồ ăn uống thì có lẽ là cô sẽ đi chợ gần nhà cô hơn có thể đi bộ và có thể đi mua được rất nhiều thứ ở trong chợ cô có quan tâm đến giá cả của nó à, giá cả thì cũng có một số mặt hàng trên lệch không phải tất cả các mặt hàng trong trong siêu thị đều đắt hơn à, tuy nhiên thì cô quan tâm nhiều đến cái cái sự tiện lợi về vấn đề giao thông cho con trước The number of supermarkets are changing very fast, such as the Vinatex market's acquisition was a stepping stone for Bing Group to reach its goal of establishing 100 supermarkets and 1,000 convinced stores by 2017, <coughs> and others say ditch by 2018. With rapid economic growth and extremely high population density, many modern shopping centers and mega malls have been being opened in Hanoi. The economic profits they generate mostly remain in the hands of their poor and middle class possibly also due to food safety issues. Hanoi's People Committee was starting to, to a p policy to make most of their supermarkets and hypermarkets larger. While interviewing people at the streets and shopping malls at Hanoi, we found out that uh, most of the people in the shopping mall say that their profits are increasing, but people at the old markets say that they are are decreasing because nowadays people usually go to sh uh, big shopping malls more. <laughs> 